Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in today. We hope you've enjoyed it. I have. Yeah, it's been a good day, right? You've you, had fun? Yeah. It's been you a had, very long day. It's been a long one, <laughs> but a good one. So this is the point where we do a bit of a wrap up and summarise some of the sessions that you've uh, seen today. So Steve, you did a couple of sessions today. So yeah. can you give the audience a few of your key takeaways? Sure. So uh, I did SQL Clone, which is one you should definitely watch because it's a fantastic product. You know, I wish I'd had it 15 years ago when I, uh, I had to develop stuff. So, uh, you know, with Clone, it's just amazing that you can build these copies of the database so fast and, and you can kind of change the way you develop. So you can you know, make some changes, drop your database, recreate a new one. Uh, and then we showed the script runner as well. So you can mask that data when you build the images so that when it gets to the developers, they don't see any of the sensitive information. So that's good. And then we did one on Compare. So Compare 13 is out, which is amazing, right? 13. And uh, we support temporal tables in there, and we've got uh, graph support, all 2017 stuff. And then uh, there's some neat little features that make it a little bit easier for developers. So we reorder columns, and we give you like a high-level view, so you don't have to you don't have to read through all the code, right? So I don't mind code. You probably don't like code very much. No. It's not for me. No. no. But we could give you a little report that says, here's the stuff that we're changing. So then you'd be you'd be happy. Yeah. Right? Nice, pretty report. What I think is amazing is SQL Compare has come so many years. Yeah. Right? There's people out there have been using SQL Compare nearly 18 years. Yeah, yeah. And yet there's development teams still going. I know. I'm, I'm surprised. You know, I remember when it was first released, and so I'm amazed that they still find new things to do, and uh, there's still things that customers want to do, so it's kind of Absolutely. Neat. Absolutely. So, yeah, if you're not on SQL Compare, the latest version, 13.4, maybe, 1? Uh, anyway, check for updates in SQL Convert and yeah. Uh, yeah, check it out, add, add in the new features. Do that. But yeah, next up, let's um, bring on Richard and right. see what his key takeaways. Thanks, Steve. Yep. So Richard, Good. you were talking today. What are your mm -hmm. key takeaways from your session? Uh, well, for my session, actually, I, the, the, uh, I mentioned some of the other sessions. My session, the, the thing that really excited me was um, the thing I mentioned about, we were talking about how the sort of rising tide raises all boats and companies are going to start making demands of each other around how they're treating data, how you're you know, verifying that you're doing the right thing, that you're doing privacy by design default. Mm -hmm. uh, I went downstairs to my desk here at Redgate and there was an email there from somebody, that we, the company we work with, asking us to verify that we treat data that we hold uh, that originated with them with the right concerns with uh, the in fully GDPR compliant. So actually seeing it happen in real time is pretty mm -hmm. exciting. Yeah, absolutely. Um, actually, something on that last session, um, that, the, right at the end there, David Simner and uh, Tom Austin, and David was uh, demonstrating how you can start typing into the ready roll window at the bottom of Visual Studio. Then you get a context menu. So you're doing an auto search, you get a context menu, and you can start adding reference data. And for me, it, no, I, I, no one makes a big enough play about reference data. Uh, it's one of the biggest causes uh, that you know that, that I've seen. Maybe it's my sort of uh, uh, fat thumbs, but you know, it's a, it, you, reference data can make your systems go wrong, as bad as any bug can ever make it go. It, possibly even worse because there's, there's no, nothing looks to be incorrect really, unless you're testing you know every piece of reference data that goes in there. Um, you know, it's very very easy to get things out of sync, to get the identity columns in the wrong sequence, and you know, just just have these slight variations between environments. So. Uh, that's pretty awesome, and I'm going to start baking that into my demos for Ready And that's roll. in Ready Roll, right? That's in Ready yeah. Roll, yeah. Okay. Yeah, really, really, um, you know, really awesome feature that doesn't get a, a big song and dance made about it. And I wonder if viewers know that Ready Roll is actually in the SQL Tool Belt. So if you do have the SQL Tool Belt, you're probably sitting on Ready Roll, and you might not have activated it. So give it a try today. And, and we have Visual Studio Enterprise. Absolutely. It's part of it's that uh, data data work workspace as well. Yes, yeah, in there as default, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Awesome. That's it, thank you. And next up, let's hear from Cathy. Hello. Hi, Cathy. Hi. What was your presentation and your key takeaways for today? Takeaways. So today I talked about monitoring SQL Server and about our fantastic tool, SQL Monitor. Mm -hmm. So some of the key takeaways is, um, well, first of all, I kind of went through what it takes to do this on your own, the, just the massive amount of work and all the different places you need to pull data, and um, how important it is to be on top of, of this information. So um, after ex 
make after a lot of doom and gloom that I told you about, and then I, I demonstrated this amazing tool. Then um, when I installed it myself, I was up and running and getting notifications in five minutes from the time that I downloaded. Wow, it's, that's fast. It's so easy yeah. to use. So easy to use. And not only does it let you look some really great interfaces with graphs and, and uh, charts and reports. Not only do you have that, you know, plus alerts mm -hmm. to email or text or, or uh, uh, you know, many other uh, ways you can get the notifications. Not only that, our tool provides information about what this problem means. You might run into things you've never heard of before, mm -hmm. and it helps you down the path to figuring out how to solve those problems. So um, it's a very easy tool to use, and um, you know, be sure to check out my session today because I sure had a lot of fun giving it. Great stuff. Yes. Thanks, Kathy. So Kathy was just talking about SQL Monitor, which is available as a free download, like all of the Redgate tools. You can go and actually do a very similar thing to what Kathy showed in her session by monitor.red-gate.com, and you can have a play with it, go through the demo in your own time, and see exactly how it works. All right, next up, let's hear from Grant Fritchie. Hey Grant. Hey Annabelle, how's it going? Good, thank you. And your key takeaways from your sessions, you had a couple well, of sessions. Yeah, I did, did two Sorry. sessions. We were talking about compliance and DevOps, um, and I also talked about SQL Prompt, um, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite topics. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, I get way excited about SQL Prompt, I can't <laughs> help it. Um, SQL Prompt, the, the big, big takeaway is we've just released new software that does code analysis. So we can ensure that not only do you have wildly accurate uh, code from you know, SQL Prompt providing you, you know, type ahead, um, which is going to make everything great. But now we're going to ensure that um, bad performance, bad habits, bad code actually doesn't get into your code because you're going to be you know, fixing it on the fly, as well as you know, going and reviewing existing code and, and removing you know, the problems. So right. it's, it's a huge leap forward. So that would be good for helping developers be more productive. Yeah. Oh speed yeah. Up the way they do things. Yeah, you're gonna you're going to write code faster, more accurately, and better. So I mean, it's just like how can you not use the tool? Exactly. Right. Exactly. And and then the other thing we talked about was DevOps and compliance. And um, I am a giant DevOps freak. <laughs> um, it's just one of the things I really like to get into because it's uh, so clear that people need to um, ad adopt a, a different way of doing things, um, and then. Buy Redgate tools because we can we can you know work so well with with you know the whole DevOps uh, lifecycle because we we just we support the entire thing all the way around the circle. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. There's some fun fun stuff coming up in January, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. January's got all kinds of fun stuff. Well, wait, wait, wait. Which part of January is coming up fun? Well, we've got some new tools. So in the session, you'll have seen Richard give, gave a couple of demos. Oh, right. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I completely SQL. spaced that stuff. I knew that. I knew that. Oh, SQL um, Data Masker. Yeah, yeah the, data masker, the Data Masker is going to change a whole bunch of things um, because what it's going to do is we're going to automatically clean data um, as it's moving out of your production environment, again, in order to enhance the accuracy and speed of the development process. Mm -hmm. um, and on top of that, we were also looking at the... Um, SQL estate manager. Yeah, God. It has been a long day. Um, yeah, and the SQL estate manager, which is going to, um, it's going to be a mechanism for getting control of your estate. Um, uh, Steve talked about it. He wished he'd had that 15 years ago. I wish I'd had it about eight, 17 years ago when we hit the slammer virus um, and discovered all these SQL server instances that we didn't know about mm -hmm. um, that would have made things a lot easier um, if we'd had it back then. Um, and uh, the next virus that comes out, you're going to wish you had this. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to it's going to change people's lives. I mean, it's kind, of, it's kind of weird to say that about software, but it, but it really could. Good. Well, it's great to know that Redgate are going to be at the forefront of that. Oh yeah, we're we're right on top of it all. Cool. Nice cool. one. Thanks a lot. Well, that's all from us today. I hope you've enjoyed the live stream. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, if you've got time now, just uh, stay on with the Redgate Hub which is redgate.com forward slash hub. Check out the product learning section where you can read lots of articles from various MVPs, friends of Redgate, and also the developers behind the tools. They'll tell you ins and outs and how to make more from the tools you've got. So that's all from us. Any feedback or further questions, just keep them coming to the SQL in the City hashtag and we'll get to them when we can. Thanks for tuning in.